we are going on a quick coffee run. And I mean quick because I just placed my order and it said it's gonna be, I didn't realize, I thought they were gonna make, well, okay, hold on, I'm flustered. Hello, so I'm going on a quick little coffee run and I wanna share a first impression. So let me go grab the coffee and then I'll do a first impression. So I have some time to kill because this line is ridiculously long. Um, I'm not a Starbucks girl. That's why you don't really see me go to Starbucks anymore. I definitely prefer to go to Dunkin' instead, but I'm here at Starbucks. And the reason is, I have been wanting to try the peppermint mocha, and I'm like scared because I don't think I'm gonna like it, but I wanna like at least give it a fair shot. And when I was live last night, I was talking about peppermint mocha and the, basically the consensus was that I need to try the one from Starbucks and not Dunkin'. So I was like, okay, fine. I will go to Starbucks just because you guys told me to, but I don't, I'm not a Starbucks girl. And like this line is crazy. We just got the goods from Starbucks. So Johnny got um, a, I don't know what this is. Oh, sugar cookie almond cream frappuccino. There's no coffee in here. But look at it, it's so pretty, it looks like Christmas. So that's Johnny, and then I got the peppermint mocha as is. I'm gonna do a taste test. But I'm also gonna record it for TikTok at the same time, so stay with me. You guys, I just got the peppermint mocha from Starbucks. I'm so nervous because I feel like I'm not gonna like it because it's peppermint, but Everyone's raving about it, and they told me to go to Starbucks and not Dunkin' for this, so we're gonna try it. My first taste test, first impression. <laughs> tastes like chocolate milk. That's all it tastes like. It's not bad, it's not amazing, but it just tastes like, there's that hint of peppermint, it's not too overwhelming, which is nice, but it literally just tastes like, mocha just tastes like chocolate milk to me. <laughs> and Joey, she just wanted to bark, and she just wanted all the attention, huh? I tried Johnny's drink. There's no coffee in it, but it tastes <coughs> so much like Christmas. And then he got a ham and cheese croissant, and I got the, um, the feta egg wrap thing. Okay, there's our little Starbucks breakfast. This is not as good as I remember it from Starbucks. <laughs> we are having such a nice slow Saturday, which I love. Um, Johnny is watching sports right now. Oh my goodness, last night, I think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but I got sucked into some Black Friday deals and so I bought a couple different things last night and then I also got a Christmas gift for Johnny last night, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to share that. And I went to bed dreaming, so like I ordered it last night, and then I went to bed dreaming about how I'm gonna give it to him. I can't wait for you guys to see, I'm so excited. But yeah, I haven't even like showered up for the day yet, because again, slow Saturdays, I love it. I'm still here drinking my peppermint mocha. I put it in a mug so I could warm it up because it was getting cold literally just chocolate milk to me <laughs> but I'm gonna make some cash envelopes right now these were the two cash envelopes I was using for fall that I like kept in my wallet but now I'm gonna make some Christmas themed ones and I'm gonna make a bunch of extra ones and sell them on my Instagram stories like last time because it was just so much fun so here is all the different paper I am going to make cash envelopes with I've already like gone through like my little pile of Christmas paper and I paired them all off. This first one, I think this is the one that I'm gonna use. This little pair, cause it's like peppermint. I know I don't like peppermint, but it's like candy cane theme. Like that's my theme for all of my decor. And I got my peppermint <laughs> mocha. So I'm, I think these two are the ones I'm gonna stick with. So I'll make these for myself. But then all of these I'm gonna make for you guys and you can buy them on my Instagram stories. So. We've got some like muted down colors, which are so nice. We've got some fun like classic colors.
colors in here. Some cute like cartoony ones. So there's like Santa Claus and reindeers. Pink and snowflakes. There's some adorable little snowmen. And yeah, I paired them all off. And then look at this last one. Very like vintage. I was like almost going to do these ones for myself. Like the vintage look. Oh, I love those. I'm gonna use my little silhouette machine and cut all this paper and turn it into cash envelopes. Okay, these were the first two sets I made. So these two are mine and I always start with mine first and I'm glad that I do because sometimes there's mess ups with the settings and for this one there was and it like cut this all the way through so I had to tape it. Um, but still works and it's still cute but that's why I always like start with mine so then I can make sure I have the settings correct and then here is one I made. This is so sweet. Like these look so nice together. Very like elegant. I love them. And these ones came out perfectly. So perfect. And these are all the rest I'm gonna do throughout the day, but I think Johnny's game is over now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and we're gonna start running some errands and going thrifting. I just straightened my hair for the first time in the longest time. Look at how long it is. It's past my boobs. I love it, but I definitely need some layers. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep tucking it behind my ear, but I definitely need some face framing layers. Here's today's outfit of the day. We are out and on our way to go thrifting. We're going to bring you guys along. Let's go now. With my Johnny boy over here, with my Johnny boy. Okay, we are going thrifting. Let me tell you, okay, I feel weird talking to you guys with sunglasses. So, next weekend is Nana's birthday and it's cowboy themed birthday. Um, and Johnny and I have absolutely nothing to wear that even resembles a cowboy attire, cowgirl attire. So, we're going to the thrift store. I'm a little nervous but hopefully we can find something that we can use to like create an outfit for this cowboy themed party um and then also while i'm there i'm gonna be looking for dresses like cotton or linen dresses because those are like my obsession right now so always looking to add more cotton and linen to my wardrobe oh darn i just remembered i wanted to go to the atm to like pull out my cash but whatever i'll just use my card but I love paying with cash. It's my preferred payment method. I have to try this out because I have been looking for a replacement for the one that Johnny ruined. What you doing, mamas? This is cute. What are you doing? Camping. Looking for something a cowgirl would wear, but I don't know what uh. <laughs> Look at how full this cart is. I got so many things. Some for, some that I'm gonna try for the cowboy party, and then others I just thought were cute. So we'll try those on, and I'll bring you to the fitting room with me. Like, imagine if this was a vest, maybe. You guys, I found it. Cowboy boots and they're my size. Okay, ignore the bra strap, but how sweet is this? Oh, no pockets. Shoot, it's a little boxy, but it's so sweet. This one is cute too. Again, ignore the bra. I hate the material of this though, look. But it's cute. <laughs> Johnny made me try this. <laughs> I feel like this could be very cowgirl. And it's nice and soft too, and I love these colors, so maybe I'll get this one. Too small. <laughs> we just finished up in there. My eyes were starting to hurt from all the dust. You know, the thrift store dust. But I got some good stuff, you guys. I got some good stuff. I'll share everything when we get home. But now we are gonna head over 
we got some pickups from Walmart so let me go ahead and do that look at how gorgeous the trees and the sunset it's beautiful Oh, beautiful. Look at that. The pickup people got a little confused. We have like two separate orders, but there's the first one. It's a whole 20 piece kitchen set, and it was only $20. $20. That's a dollar per item in there. That was such a crazy steal. So grab that. It's from the Pioneer Woman. It is so cute. May want to keep it for myself, who knows. And then they're bringing the other gift out too, which was only $15, it's crazy. We got the Drew Barrymore beautiful slow cookers, like those mini ones, two for $15. How insane is that? There it is, there's the second one. Ah! Where we at, mamas? Clean. It's been a while since we've been here. Years, like we haven't been here in a long time. Of course, the typical water and lemon for her. I want to go grocery shopping after dinner. Jack Jack doesn't, but I think we got momentum, so we should keep going. I'm tired, I want to go home, and we got to feed Zozie, so groceries tomorrow. I got a cup of their potato cheddar I'm soup. I'm going to do a Caesar salad. Oh, I thought you said garden salad, because that sounds good too. Happy hour on this soup was so good. Now I'm inspired to take my sourdough, make a little bread bowl, and have that soup. Oh my gosh, that'll be so good. We got the fish, fish and chips. Well, fish and fries. Fish tacos, massive. Mm -hmm. They ain't playing around. This massive cake. Uh, amazing. It smells so good. We got it to go, but we also have pork so we can eat a little right now. <laughs> I am so full from dinner. That cake was massive. I took like four bites. I took like four bites. Oh, I love you. Give me a kiss. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> Luckily, Johnny and I were both too full after dinner to go grocery shopping, which I was really happy about because I was just too tired to go tonight. And then also, I miss Zoe, so I wanted to come home. So, we'll do groceries tomorrow. But let me show you what we picked up at Goodwill, and then I'll show you my Walmart order. Okay, so first, this, this is not for the cowboy, um, cowboy party, but it's just this knitted cardigan brown cardigan this is from target $8.99 but it was just so cute and i feel like it's just so cozy i love it i love the knit so i grabbed that okay so the lemon dress i did get it's a little boxy i i don't know i'm gonna play around with it this is from the brand faithful the brand I've never heard of it. Let's see, I didn't even see the tag. What material is this? 100% cotton. I just think this dress is so sweet. We may need to find something, like maybe I could put a belt or something to give it more shape, but it's so sweet. And then this is just random, but I feel like I love wearing dresses like this around the house where like, they're not really like, super put together but like it's not pajamas and this is another one from target still had the original tag on it this dress was 9.99 and then this dress was also 9.99 so here i grabbed this flannel um this was 8.99 this this might be walmart brand i don't know but it's really soft what is this material viscose 100% viscose not my favorite but I feel like this could totally work for the cowboy party so I could just do this regular jeans that I already have a cowboy hat 
that's the one thing I couldn't find. I couldn't find a cowboy hat, so still on the hunt for that. But you guys, this was such a steal. $14.99 for these little cowboy boots. They're my size. They're from the Lucky brand. And they're actually sort of cute. Like I feel like I would actually wear these more than just for Nana's party. Like these are actually kind of cute. So this with this and some jeans and a cowboy hat, I think I am set. I'm gonna so look like a little cowgirl. So that is everything I grabbed from Goodwill. I think it was $60 in total for everything, 50 or 60 bucks for all of that. So I'm gonna wash all of that, but I'm very excited. And now here's what I picked up from Walmart. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is so stinking cute. I'm really, I'm debating if I want to keep this for myself or give it away as a gift this season. I feel like I'll end up giving it as a gift, but I don't know. I'm really close to just keeping this for myself because it is so stinking cute. So this is from the Pioneer Woman. It is a 20 piece set. Look at how sweet this is. And I think this is only 20 bucks. Like it was so stinking cheap. Such a great Black Friday deal. Like, come on. Moms, mother-in-laws, anyone who loves being in the kitchen, like this is gonna be such a great gift. Someone who just moved into an apartment or a home and they're just starting like their kitchen collection, a great little gift to give. And then this, this was such a steal. I cannot believe, I have never gotten so hooked on Black Friday deals before, but Walmart got me this year, you guys. Walmart got me. Should have just grabbed another set for myself for both of these, to be honest. You guys, look at this. Is this not the cutest little set ever? So this is Drew Barrymore's like home collection brand called Beautiful. And it's these two slow cookers, two quart slow cookers. So they're kind of like mini size. They're not gonna be like a family size thing. This is gonna be perfect for anyone with a small space, like small apartment, maybe dorm room. Or even if they have a massive kitchen, huge home, this would still be such a great gift because you can use this for like smaller things like dips. But the coolest part of this package is that they both come individually wrapped like this. So you can literally keep one for yourself, like give one as a gift. We haven't decided what we're gonna do yet. For sure, we already have somebody in mind um, to give as a gift, so this one I think. So this one we've already decided this is gonna be a gift for someone. This Merlot color may stay with us. We may give it away as a gift. We're not sure yet, but it is so stinking cute. $15, can you believe that? $15 for both of these. If you're still able to get your hands on these deals, I'm gonna leave a link below. Snag them before they are gone, seriously. Snag these deals before they are gone. White Elephant, Secret Santa, like such a great gift idea. Uh. Yahoo! I'm gonna open one real quick, just so we can kind of see the size. So that way I can show you guys also. Oh, I said, yeah, that's fine. Are you talking to me? Oh, no, come, Nina. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the cute little lid. But look at this, this is such a good little size. Is it not? Look at that. Here's it compared to my head. Like this is a good size. It says on here, for smaller meals, sauces, dips, and more. Such a good cute little size. Oh, that's dope. Isn't it so perfect? And that's a thumbs up. That's a thumbs up. <laughs> I love it. I just washed everything that I picked up from Goodwill today, and I looked up this dress from Faithful, the brand, and this particular dress, it's like, it's not on the website anymore, so it's an older dress, but I did a little bit of digging and found out this dress 
was originally priced at like $185, $190. So I got a $200 dress today for only whatever, $10, $9.99. And it had the original Faith Willebrand tags. Oh yeah, oh yeah, what a steal, what a steal. So I'm back in the office finishing up all of the cash envelopes. And I wanna just show you my little flow that I got going on. Okay, so there's one printing right now, or not printing, cutting right now. You can hear my machine, it's so loud. I glue this down and then put it with the rest of the pile and I put my phone on top of it to keep them flat. I'm gonna work on taping this one. Hey Chulito, I died. Love you. Love you. Okay, the one in there is done. Okay, this one is done. I'm gonna line that up. So I take this one out, and then I have my little stack here that's ready to go. And I go ahead and line this one up. My laptop is over here connected with the template that I've already made. So I just press send. And that's doing that thing, and then I come back and I work on this guy right here. So I rip that off. Here's my cash envelope. Oh, this one's so pretty. It scores it too, so folding it is just such a piece of cake. So I really just come in here, add a little bit of glue here, bada bing, bada boom. And this glue is amazing, it's so good. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna stick it under there to dry. And then we'll line up the next one and we just keep going. So I'll do a little time lapse of my little flow here, working on my cash envelopes. It is the end of the night. I just finished all of the cash envelopes. This was so much fun and so freaking fast to make all of these. It was insane. And they turned out so stinking cute. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I love it. So I love doing this because I love cash envelopes for myself, but since I have all this extra paper, I figured not. why not share it with you guys as well? And if anyone is thinking, oh, Jackie is trying this new business venture, try and get rich from this, I'm literally selling these for $1.50. And I only made like 15 of these. So you do the math. I'm not trying to get rich here. <laughs> I am just doing this for fun. And I just want to share it with you guys. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed come along thrifting with me and all that good stuff let me know in the comments what vlog you'd like to see next and i'll see you guys again next monday with another vlog